what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Miss Tahino's Lego Robotics. And today, yes, I do have the Lego Spike Prime Christmas Train. Now, it's just, you know, a regular train. The only reason I called it a Christmas train is I added the green and red bricks on there. Uh, but it's just a regular train. But because it's close to Christmas, I'm calling this the Christmas train. So today, what we're going to do is look at this train see all that's involved with it, what cool features it has, and definitely let you see the program that this has to be able to follow a line. So stay with me. Hino Lego Robotics. Okay, the first thing that I love about this train is you guys always know that I love the way that people can make Lego things look like real things. So the first thing I love about this thing is it looks like a real train. I mean, look, they made the ball bearing look like a smokestack. And look at those. I mean, can that look more like railroad wheels than, I mean, that it's just amazing. So the first thing is just appearance. This thing looks awesome. And who wouldn't think that that looks like a train? The next thing I like about this is this program, if you notice, is going to be steered by this motor. And so if it sees less or more of a certain reflection, you see how it's meant to steer? And that's going to eventually follow a line that I'll show you in a little bit. But that I really like. I've not seen that before where this color sensor or light sensor is going to steer this train. Another thing that I like is the gears, that the gears are going to make this look like it's going through two motors when it's actually, these are just powered by this one motor. But because we've connected it by gears, it's making all four wheels turn. Is my spike prime program I'll be honest I had to modify this because uh, when I was using reflection um, something in the cardboard I was using it was giving like 10% reflection off of the white and I was like wait 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 so I just basically stuck with black and white having it recognize color so here we go uh, this D motor is set to 10%. I didn't want this train going super fast. I wanted you to be able to see that it was reading the lines or the black and white. So I set it at 10%. And this is going to be the motor that's just making the train go forward. So this is just having this D motor go forward at 10% speed. Now I'm going to have this forever block. And this is where the color sensor jumps in here. If the color sensor sees black, it's going to set the motor now, the motor that I showed you that was basically going to go back and forth. It was going to set it to go to the right. If it sees white, then it basically sets it to go to the opposite, go to the left um, at that 10% speed. So it's going to give you kind of that zigzag uh, type of reading. Initially, it started to like curve and then eventually when I set it right on the black that's when it started right you know it started to read it pretty smooth and so this is the program um, again it, it just kind of depends it's weird how spike programs depend on your lighting uh, what you're using for your colors so hopefully this works for you let's go ahead and now and see how it looks
guys. So this was just a really cool build. I really enjoyed it. Um, you might have to go back into the program and do a little bit of tweaking on this one here. Um, but I really just enjoyed watching this thing go. Um, it does catch the line. It just needs a little bit of tweaking and it, it will depend on the intensity of the light in your room or wherever that you're running this thing. But I really enjoyed it. Um, check out the link if you want the description for the building instructions for this guy. Um, it's just a really cool train. And again, I made it Christmas just by putting those bricks on the front, but uh, I, I just cannot just say enough good things about this guy. So thank you guys so much for watching. I am Miss Gino from Miss Gino's Lego Robotics. I am out. He's out. He's out. We got this. We got this. We got this, guys. Hey guys, Mr. Hino here. Thank you so much for watching. And if you love robotics, don't forget to check out these videos also because they're cool. Okay guys, take care.